Was the moon landing legit or was it a massive hoax? It's a hotly debated topic universally. I think I have a video here and a decode that reveals that it was a hoax and I can show you who was behind that hoax. And for all the people who say, but where's your evidence? Where's your, where's your photographs and your videos that it didn't happen? It's like, what? Because you've seen a couple of photos like this, it means it happened. Of course, NASA told you. It's like, it's just a joke. And the people who like try and speak to me and say, oh my God, you're such a conspiracy theorist. You don't know what you're talking about. It's like, wake up. I actually feel sorry for you at this point. I feel sorry for your lack of knowledge and the fact that you are under mind control and you've been so indoctrinated that you dismiss the knowledge that I present. I'm starting to believe that only a few people in the world will ever understand the information I present and I'll focus my energy on them. Those who don't see this or the people who say, I could only watch 10 seconds of your video, then okay, see what happens in the next few years. And then don't come begging, asking me, well, what's gonna happen next, Adam, can you decode this? No, I won't, not for you. So Neil Alden Armstrong, the full name of Neil Armstrong, equals 201 and 84. And they're huge numbers connected to the Jesuit order who were behind this whole psyop. The Jesuit order equals 201 and 84. Notice it also equals 69. And <laughs> we're told that Neil Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon in 1969. How convenient. By the way, Neil Alden Armstrong, that was just a name given to him by the Jesuit order. I'm pretty sure that wasn't his name. But again, people say, where's your evidence? Do you have his birth certificate? It's like, get a grip. You just think it's a coincidence that his full name equals 201 and 84, like the Jesuit order? And also, currently, we have a Pope who is a Jesuit. His full name is Jorge Mario Goglio, notice his full name equals 201 and he resides in suite 201 in the Vatican. Again, what does that mean? What, what does 201 mean? Well, Catherine the Great saved 201 Jesuits. Look what happens when you type in the full name of Bill Gates. William Henry Gates, 201 and 84. I recommend you look into event 201 just to see that what I'm talking about is not coincidence, it's clearly connected. William Henry Gates, clearly a Jesuit. There's no, there's no denying that at this point. And for another 201, we're told that Neil Armstrong stepped foot on the moon on July the 20th, 1969, which was the 201st day of that year. Can you believe it? Neil Alden Armstrong equals 201, the Jesuit order equals 201, and he steps foot on the moon on the 201st day of 1969 and the Jeju order equals 69. And I also wanna point out that this July the 20th, 2021 will be the 52nd anniversary of Neil Armstrong stepping foot on the moon. 52 guys. Hope equals 52. Remember I told you the current Pope is a Jesuit? Pope equals 52. Notice it also equals 25. And when you add these numbers here from 1969, one plus nine gets you 10, 10 plus six gets you 16, six plus nine gets you 25. Pope equals 25. I don't even need to discuss the 56s at this point if you've been watching my video. Um, I'm not gonna go through them all. Sight of Jesus equals 56. And let me just discuss the date numerology. 115 date numerology. A number connected to masonry and Freemasons. Freemasons equals 115. Notice it also equals 56. See how Freemason equals 96. And it was 96 date numerology where Armstrong supposedly stepped on the moon. 
Also, see how it was 52 date numerology as well. Wow. This is staggering at this point. It is staggering. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm even lost for words here. But anybody who uh, doesn't believe in the moon landing, they call us conspiracy theorists. As they say here, despite the extraordinary volume of evidence, including 382 kilograms of moon rock collected across six missions, corroboration from Russia, Japan, and China, and images from the NASA Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter showing the tracks made by the astronauts in the moon dust, belief in the moon hoax conspiracy has blossomed since 1969. You need to ask yourself why so many people believe it didn't happen. Because there's so much evidence that reveals that it was a hoax but those people truly trapped in the matrix see an image like this and believe it happened these three guys three masons look at them making the the pyramid in the image that they, they do these sort of things all the time i'm surprised they're not throwing a 666 symbol out with their hands but um again it's just these three guys clearly masons doing the job and deceiving the world and it makes me sick to my stomach, but I will keep revealing this deception. So again, if you have friends who are like, Where, where's your evidence? Like you keep saying that man's not stepped on the moon. Show them my video. See if they have the knowledge and the patience and the education to actually watch the whole video because most people don't. That's the problem. They dismiss my work, some people, and they can't get through one video because they don't have the mental capacity to do it. Notice it happened as well on July the 20th, like 72. And when you type in as you order, it gets you 72. For another 115, Masonic equals 115. We told this happened on the 100 and, on 115 date numerology. Just again. I don't need a history book to tell me what happened. I, I'm smart enough to decode what went on in history. I've done it with world wars, done it with natural disasters, and now I've done it with the moon landing hoax, which I believe it was. The 201s in itself, I could have just said, Neil Alden Armstrong equals 201, the Jesuit order equals 201, and he stepped foot on the moon on the 201st day of the year. That could have been the end of the video. And it should have had people thinking. But then I've thrown in the Pope connections, how his name equals 201. How it happened on 52 date numerology. How it's 52 years, the anniversary, from the date of the supposed Neil Armstrong stepping on the moon to the upcoming anniversary of it. Notice it's in 2021, and when you type in Jesuit, this is the Jesuit takeover now. They've been behind in the shadows for many decades. They're coming out now and revealing themselves, in my opinion. Jesuit equals 21, and notice a lot of this stuff is happening in 2021, which is the 21st year of the 21st century. Again, that is not coincidental, although it will be for a lot of people. So again, just this itself, I remember being a kid thinking, oh my God, how strange is it that the first five letters of Neil Armstrong's name is alien backwards? It was a joke. And now I see through it, oh, it's an even bigger joke. It's just pure mockery. I can just see these Jesuits sat down and like, okay, what, what are we going to call you? Let's come up with some names where we can just mock everybody. Okay, Neil. Okay, Neil. Ne Neil Armstrong. Yes, I see the alien. I see the first five letters, alien in reverse. Okay, let's make Toy Story movie and call the main character, or the secondary main character, Buzz Lightyear and have him say, to infinity and beyond. Like, why can't they just say Edwin Aldrin? They have to put Buzz in quotation marks just to make a point of it. That is what they do, guys. That is what they do. So again, do you believe this happened? Let me know in the comments. Do you think it was a hoax? Do you think it was legit? Do you think Stanley Kubrick filmed it in a studio? I think he did. Just look what they can do with movies, guys.
Look what they can do with movies. The, the special effects. And just know the Jesuit orders and the Masons, they hide technology from us. They have it like 30, 40, 50 years before we have it. So when people say, I think that photo was Photoshop. Well, Photoshop didn't come out till this year. It's like, okay, didn't come out to the masses until that year, but they had it before. Again, what a convincing photo this is. Wow. Just amazing moment, wasn't it? So they get there, this guy steps on the moon and what? He recites his lines. He recites his lines, which he said was organic, that it just came to him. My word, nothing but actors, just like the NBA. The world is a show. And it's up to you to find your own truth in it. Because the media won't give you truth. The history books won't. You have to find your own. Otherwise, you'll go to your grave being conned. So there you have it, guys. I personally believe that the moon landing was a massive hoax.